Hello all, let us talk about some of the important features of STM32WB55 eval board. So, the, the center part of this eval board is um, the STM32WB55 module which hosts a STM32WB55 chipset. Now, um, as you see, this module is called P-NucleoWB55. Now, um, this particular module, as we know, is a wireless module right so it needs some antenna so there are uh, provisions to connect external antenna as well as internal antenna on this um, wb55 board or the nucleo 68 board so you see here this particular place is specifically um, accommodate uh, is specifically used to have a PCB antenna you can see the trace antenna here with the ST logo and then uh, this is basically the onboard antenna uh, which comes by default with the board and then you can see this section here where there is a provision to uh, mount the SMA connector so on this particular version of the board we don't have uh, the connector mounted so if you want you can mount the connector and then remember that in the schematic to shift between the PCB antenna and the SMA uh, connector there is a capacitor option on the board and then when we come to the connections uh, uh, you see a Bergstick connectors on the left and right side of this particular board so this is one connector and this is another connector so these are called morpho connectors uh, which can be used uh, for any general purpose usage of the pins of this particular module so you can get to know the pin out from the eval board schematic and um, you can also prepare your own mating board using this morpho connectors as well and then you see uh, the um, one cross uh, female uh, um, Berghaus connectors here. So these connectors basically are Arduino compatible connectors where there are number of Arduino shields available. Even in the STM website you can have a lot of them or you can design your own or you can buy a lot a lot of boards from outside and um, you can mount this and extend the uh, functionality of this uh, um, board or extend the peripheral usage on this board and um, coming to uh, what is there on this board uh, to test stm 32 wb 55 one is definitely the antenna uh, and the particular RF section from this module so that you can transmit the data out and receive the second thing here the buttons and the leds which are connected to um, the <coughs> GPUs of this module where we have three switches and three LEDs uh, which are present on this board. So mm, this can be used uh, to test the um, GPU features or you can test uh, the input output functionality of the pins of the module. And mm, this particular board will have two USB connectors. One is mounted here underneath the board and one is mounted here again underneath the board. So this is on the bottom side of the board. So the purpose of these connectors is um, this particular USB which is there on the left side um, is used to connect to the USB of this particular module. Whereas this particular uh, USB uh, is a debugger peripheral where <coughs> you have uh, a STM32F103 chipset which actually is a ST-Link debugger which comes with this module. You need not have external debugger. The debugger is already on this board and you just need to plug in your USB here and you can start downloading the code or debugging the code using STM32Cube. So, um, this particular uh, USB is for debugging and this particular USB is the peripheral of the um, WB55. And then apart from this, this board can be powered from several ways. 
um, first thing, this board can be powered with 5 volts and this board can also be powered directly with 3.3 uh, volts. Okay, for the 5 volts, you provide from the USB and there are onboard regulators uh, which convert this 5 volts uh, to 3.3 volts and further supply the module uh, with the 3.3 volts and <coughs> you have um, a level translator here in case if your module uh, is working at a different voltage than what ST-Link is providing, um, this level translators uh, can convert the um, ST-Link signals from one voltage domain to another. So, in, uh, you have to check what voltage you are using um, or you have the freedom to have different voltages uh, to perform your activities. That is uh, um, powering from 5 volts. And then uh, you can also power from a battery. You see the center connection here. Okay, this particular connector uh, can be used uh, to provide a battery input uh, to this board. Uh, generally, the lithium batteries are used uh, for. <coughs> low power applications right so in case if you want to test this board on a battery and not uh, a usb power of 5 volts you can connect here accordingly uh, you have to change the jumpers that are present here and apart from this um, the, if we know that uh, bles are low power uh, <coughs> are used in low power applications and there are several BLE devices which uh, run for years on a simple RTC coin cell. So there is a provision of powering this particular board from RTC coin cell as well where there is a RTC coin cell connector um, underneath this board where you can plug in the coin cell and power up the board and test the features. So and Apart from this, this board also has <coughs> a two-pin jumper which can be used to monitor the current that is going into the WB55. So the output of this regulator is connected to that uh, jumper and by default that jumper is uh, um, shorted and in case if you want to um, <coughs> um, monitor the current or using any power meter you can connect uh, to those two terminals and you can measure the uh, power consumption of WP55. So overall uh, you see this is a very good evaluation board and um, the evaluation board coming at good cost um, considering that you are also getting uh, the debugger at the uh, same time and you also have one connector here which is ST link in case if you want to connect an external ST link rather than using onboard debugger you, we can remove the jumpers here um, the connectivity from this debugger to the WB55 and we can uh, use this to connect the external ST link um, as we see um, overall a very good feature board and along with this board we are also getting USB dongle which can be used to test uh, the Bluetooth <coughs> data between them as well um, and um, with these features uh, and knowing that these are the interfaces that are present on the board we can start working on this particular board we will talk about uh, how to start uh, programming the uh, stm32wp55 board in the next coming videos thank you